There are three things that stand out for me in the life of Imam Ali in this respect. The first is, what courage must it have taken for a young boy, 10, 12 years of age, the youngest person in the family gathering, to actually stand his ground against all the elders and the greybeards and say, I'm with you, Muhammad. I accept and recognize you. And even though Imam Ali is one of heightened spirituality, nevertheless, this takes enormous human courage. And then, secondly, we think about that occasion when the Prophet is going to leave Mecca and is going to make Hijra to Medina. And he is asked to do something that's pretty risky. He knows that there's an assassination attempt. He knows that if he stays in the place where the Prophet sleeps, he is there, as it were, like a tethered goat. He is a willing victim who is standing there in order to protect the person of the Prophet, in order to give him the possibility of making his escape and not being attacked. And then the third thing is that after the Prophet has left, and obviously people are very upset that the Prophet has escaped, he nevertheless is asked to remain on and to return all the pledges that were left with Muhammad by the people who are now his enemies. So those people who have given him pledges to look after because he was such a trustworthy person. It is Ali who was asked, stay on, return the pledges, and then make your own journey to Medina. And in these three ways, his character stands out as one who was prepared to give his everything in order to protect the life of the Prophet.